that number two in Africa, number two in Somalia, you know, the civil war in Somalia is a G3 rival. What we can do is uh, to go to places where the massacres have taken. Uh, we can see those skulls and all the bones. And what we find there is ammunition or the rest of ammunition, and we can analyze which weapons are used in this massacre. So what you see here in Somalia, a lot of children, my hand, a lot of children have been executed in this place. Skull is very small. This is Samira, a good friend of mine. She lost her mother by killing with M16 and G3. This is Sati Rahman, Kahir Mohamed. I found him sitting in a hospital um, in Halgesa in the north of Somaliland. And um, I showed pictures of G3, of M16, of M16, and so on. And he said, here, G3, G3. I don't understand, but only the word G3, because he's talking in Somali, and my Somali is not so good. But uh, then we talked to each other, and he told me a story. He lost the right leg uh, uh, at the knee, and the bullet, bullet uh, of a G3 rifle um, destroyed his right knee. But if you see now, you cannot clearly see here, now it's, uh, the leg is cut, cut all the time, every two years, must be open again, and must the bone must cut again, and then it's, it's closed again, because I don't know the, the medicine word for this. Um, maybe. Or medicine of the doctor. Okay, so um, the problem is um, it's never healing. It's, it's, it's like it's only one bullet. Yeah? We uh, yesterday we hear the story of one bullet story. What can one bullet do? It's not always killing. Sometimes it's only hurt people. But they have worked for work for all the life, and they are traumatized. All the people are traumatized. I made small biographies about 12, 220 people. Uh, all around the world of victims of uh, HMK weapons. But the first time I went to the countries, I thought it would be very, very problem to find victims of G3. Now it's so easy. You go to the countries, you go to the school, but if you show the pictures of many weapons, you say, oh, it's a G3. My father's killed, my daughter's killed. Look here, I have weapons inside because northern Somalia has no doctor. There's 40,000 people one doctor. Sometimes they have the ammunition for more than 10 years in their body. And it's very, very tough thing. So what we can do is to look at the rifles and what we see here. This is a rifle of Abdi Rahman. His rifle, he got it now. And he lost his leg, but he got the rifle because some of the other people killed the murder. So we have the rifle. And this is the numbers. Only what you can see is G383 is a standard version of G3. This is the serial number. What we see here is this. Um, it's uh, typical for, uh, uh, what is the I don't know. They are shooting the weapons and testing the weapons in Germany. Um, and so, uh, proofing. Yeah, proofing a proofing organization. Every, every country has a unique proofing stamp. So it works like a passport. You can see where it's been officially. And this one is typical for Germany. So we know this weapon is coming from Germany uh, after Rahman lost his name. So this is maybe the most important uh, statistics we see. How many people are killed by small arms? From 100 people, the Red Cross say, the International Red Cross say, uh, two are killed by hand grenades, five are killed by tanks or aeroplanes and so on, 10 are killed with landmines, 10 are killed with mortars, 10 are killed in average, in average killed by pistols and revolvers, and 33 are killed by rifles. You know, the mass killing weapons all around the world. The rifle, the largest producer of rifles in Europe is the company HMK, about 30 kilometers from here. It's not a large company, only 700 uh, employees are there. So middle, middle class company like this. Very effective. So, what you can say, HMK is the deadliest company um, in Europe, in whole Europe. Because we have about, I counted it, very conservative. More than 2 million people are killed by HNK weapons. You can say every day 114 people are killed with weapons of HNK per day. Every day, much more. Are <coughs> Good friend in Turkey. In Turkey, there are about uh, 40,000 people killed in the civil war. Um, 35,000 Kurds are killed. I talked to soldiers and told me. Uh, in between 80 and 90 percent of the Kurds were killed with HMK weapons. 
So, Sudan, what you have, Kalashnikov and Chisli. Uh, IREC, MP5, Fiction K, this is the Blackwater series. Taliban killing with G3, this is torture scenery. Thai soldiers, some Thai soldiers are using, usually they use Kalashnikov because they are not so heavy as G3, but the new generation of HNK weapon is much more lighter. It will be in the future standard by the present of Thai soldiers. Mm -hmm. License, I give them this, oh, I don't know the story of this all. It takes about 25 years to make this statistics. And, um, what I can say is the new weapon is G36 and given the license to Spain and Saudi Arabia. Imagine Saudi Arabia. So this is 36. This is Libya war, Libya war. Uh, in Libya, uh, both sides are dealing with G36. The dictator side and the rebels. This is a very important uh, fact. This is coming from HNK Obendorf, G36 is a small version. The Kaliber is NATO Kaliber. Uh, you see, again, produced in Germany. This is illegal. Uh, you have not a normal serial number. What you have is an illegal number. So we made a complaint as a campaign of um, Action Out Try, a complaint against Eklan Koch because they, the weapons are not legal in Libya. Um, we made a second one to Mexico, I'll show you, this is a Russian project war, this is Mexico. Um, I found the story very short, but it's not allowed to give uh, to all regions of Mexico HNK weapons, not to four, Chiapas and so on, Chihuahua, uh, but they did. Uh, I started a complaint in April 2010, three years ago, uh, against HNK, and the prosecutor is uh, working very tough in the three years. <laughs> okay. uh, but I have a witness who said we have been in Mexico and we did illegal dealings with Mexico so I hope we can start in front of court in the next year uh, so this is a story I told tomorrow more this is a picture which is very 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 important it's the first one I show the main shareholder of HNK uh, Andreas Haitian on the right side Andreas Haitian uh, is told till today, he said, no one has a photo of me, no one can show me, there's no picture, there is no drawing of me, now the picture is here. And it's very, very uh, interesting, the persons are on the left side. Um, this is the ex-defense minister, and this is um, uh, Mr. Kauda. Mr. Kauda is, um, uh, how do you say, my eyes are Constituency is not a constituency by Okay, okay. So representative. Okay. And he's, they say the right hand of Mrs. Merkel. So it's very important that you don't have to wonder whether Hedlund Koch had such a lot of, uh, how can say, uh, good information or many orders. You, would, you please, would you please repeat the name of this representative? Volker Kauder. No, 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 no. The arms. Uh, um, oh, sorry. The guy is the right Hans Josef Jung. Oh, okay. ah, this is Andreas Eschen. Andreas Eschen with double B. So he would be very happy to see the picture. And who is he? He's um, the main shareholder of HNK. That's a lot of the most shares of HNK. He is living in London. Um, so we can listen to him afterwards. So, oh, sorry. No, it's gone. Okay. I want to show you one statistic, maybe. Uh, because we have to say, we heard the sensation, no fact. Yeah, it's good. So good. In, in 40 minutes is there. Da müssen wir das Kabel da reinstecken. Da muss der Fakt drauf. Delivering loud to delivering small arms deliveries to all around the world by the government. And what you see is these are all the years. This is the Merkel area. I can say Angela Merkel is responsible for this area. What you can see is this one. Last year means in 2011 um, was allowed to export small arms of 37 million, nearly 38 million. Uh, Euro to all around the world, and a new fact since three or four days is that 
In 2012, it is doubled to 76. You see, if you know that the small arms are like the pest or the cholera all around the world, if you know that the largest producer and exporter of small arms from company H and K here nearby, then you know who is the main profiteer of this uh, number is H and K, and that means a lot of countries got in 2012. We don't know the names at that times, especially Saudi Arabia got a lot. Um, is uh, allowed to deliver these weapons to Saudi Arabia to other countries in this Arab uh, region, but we don't know the exact names of these. So, what I want to show is this one, and um, you can uh, take all these websites and write them down, because these four websites are the most important in Germany, if you need more information about weapons exports. So, what I'm not able to tell in this short time is, maybe tomorrow we have more time with this, is we have a lot of tradition of um, of working and um, even active against HNK. Tomorrow will be the next highlight, I think. Yeah. Uh, because HNK wants to work in the dark, uh, wants to work, uh, and we would say, in the grey market, uh, <laughs> like this. Um, HNK don't want to be in the media. So what we can do is inform the people here all around uh, the country. What we can do is say, uh, support our campaign. We are now more than 130 organizations, 130 organizations of peace movement, human rights movement, uh, the both Christian churches, churches here in Germany. It's a very tough lobby against HNK. We support us. Many thanks. is the major shareholder of Heckland Koch, but uh, as far as I know, Heckland Koch is a GmbH, mm -hmm. which means a company with limited liability. Mm -hmm. So if Heckland Koch is a shareholder value uh, company, why don't you own one share? Yeah, it's not a, I, I tried to get one, uh, <laughs> because I want to be more uh, capitalist, <laughs> larger capitalist, I like a capitalist. So this capitalist uh, is not allowed for me. It's only allowed for an inner circle to buy H and Carrier shares. So you don't. It's not allowed for you to buy these shares. I think it's only allowed for um, how can you say supporters of H and Carrier. Special construction. Maybe is there two three questions now? Just to give the mark. Then we will take into this one now, and then, but I think then we should listen to Andrew as well, and then have a discussion. Just a second, can you please show again the slide with the license production arrangements? Because in the earlier session, in the morning, we heard, yeah, we heard that the G3 is being produced in Iran. No, that was the G36, which you were reporting now. Spain? Yeah. But then the, 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 the top part is the yeah. G3, the down part is the uh, G6. I'm looking at it. So it's this. Uh, I have one and I'll show you. I show you. Yeah. This, um, uh, and then you also show the picture taken in Sudan uh, with the G3. So I wondered, which that by any comes, by any accident have been G3 produced in Iran being exported to South Sudan because we just yeah, that's right. had the main uh, finding of that. And so, um, this, is uh, file, this is a file for tomorrow, but it's no problem. Yeah. So what you can see is uh, a lot of licenses are given. Um, it takes about 20 years for this file. Yeah. So and what you see is Iran is in it. Yeah. They give the license in the year uh, 1967 yeah. to the Shah, Reza Pahlavi. Uh, he was uh, Western orientated. Um, so we say, okay, he's a good friend of us. So. Um, there's an Iran state company producing since uh, 1968 the G3, and now the sensation is up to now.